Hi, this is Hall of Famer, Robert the Ghost Guerrero. You're listening to Jim on Bass. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bass Show. We're back at the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame with the great Rob Guerrero. And it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on. I'm glad to be here. I'm excited and, man, I'm thrilled. You got the tie on. It's tied right, so you're looking good. Oh, yeah. Well, we got the same vibe going, you know? <laughs> well, we got the, the pride of Gilroy, right? So that's where you grew up. And uh, it must be surreal to be here today. Yeah, I share that with uh, Jeff Garcia, yeah. you know, who actually I think is a Hall of Famer here too. So, yeah, I mean, had a, had a little old Gilroy, a little aviculture town, and uh, the tail end of uh, the South Bay. Yep. And uh, he's a friend of the show, Jeff Garcia, and uh, you both get down with the garlic then, right? Yep. I think uh, everybody stayed away from Jeff, you know, when he was running with that football, is that garlic smell. <laughs> Same thing with me in the fights, you know, guys will be running from me. <laughs> I think they smelled the garlic. <laughs> yeah, the ghost. So I am curious, uh, how, what's the origin of that story? How did it all come about? Uh, the ghost came about when I was about nine years old. Uh, I was sparring, and there was another coach in the in the gym watching. And, man, just being so fast, get off to the side, shoot my shots, get off the other way. The kid will come back to the corner, and he's like, he's like, hit him, get him. He's like, I can't. He's there. He's not there. I don't know. And the coach is like, what is he, like a ghost? And then after that, he just said, like, hey, ghost, and started calling me ghost, and it's stuck ever since. Yeah, it's stuck every time. It's a good yeah. story. Yeah. Well, you're also uh, left-handed, right? Because uh, I'm a fellow lefty as well. Yeah, I'm a lefty, so well, I don't got no ink right now. So, <laughs> but yeah, you know, you know how that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smear across yeah. the page. Smear all day. Well, the hands, you're still looking good. Like you're, you, you're keeping in shape, then, huh? Oh yeah, I stay in shape all the time. Uh, you know, it's a lifestyle for me. So, uh, I mean, I love, I love to train, love to be ready. My son's a professional fighter now. He's three and zero. He's gonna be fighting this weekend, and uh, man. You know, it keeps me on my toes. Yeah. And it started not just with you, right? It started with your dad. He trained you and your, your five brothers, right? Yeah, it actually started with my grandfather. My grandfather was a fighter in, in Texas. And uh, unfortunately, he couldn't, term, he couldn't actually pursue his professional career because uh, he had too many kids. So he's like, I have to go to work and feed them. So he migrated to California, which I'm glad he did because the weather's beautiful. And, uh, you know, ever since then, you know, my father got into boxing and... and all my uncles. Uh, I even had an aunt that used to box back in the in the seventies. And um, man, my brothers, and now it trickled down to me. My son. I got two nephews that fight professional also, and I have a female cousin that fights professional, which is she's pretty tough. So uh, yeah, it's 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 more of a family tradition. Well, so you're gonna have like your own security team with you at the induction ceremony, right? Oh yeah, you got a team of fighters. <laughs> What makes me wonder, uh, growing up in this area, uh, I've been asking each person, you know, my first job was ripping tickets at the movie theater. Mm -hmm. So before you were a boxer, uh, do you remember what your first job was or where you worked? Uh, my first job, I used to work for my dad. My dad was a, a fence contractor and uh, we used to go work with him on the summer, the weekends. And, uh, you know, that's how we used to support our boxing career was uh, go bank out jobs and... Uh, Use, use whatever whatever was left in the pot you know my dad had to uh, you know pursue the career of boxing and man it was a great investment and man look where we're at yeah. Hall of Fame yeah Hall of Fame well, Robert it's good to meet you thanks for coming on and it's fun to spend a few minutes with you congratulations yeah thank you very much and I really appreciate it.